You're listening to the Spin 10K a Day podcast, brought to you by the performance marketing experts at Mute 6. This is your source for cutting edge insight into the world of online advertising from the team with more Facebook case studies in 2016 than any other agency on the planet. Here are your hosts, Steve Wise and Stuart Anderson. Welcome back to the Spend 10K a Day podcast. I am one of your hosts, Stuart Anderson. The other host, Steve Weiss, is with me right now. And we're going to talk today about Facebook offer ads. They've gone through a few iterations. The most recent version, I think, launched a few months ago. Yep. And it is way better than the old one. If you haven't played around Facebook offer ads and you are an e-commerce site that does discounting, then you are missing out on an amazing, an amazing conversion objective and an amazing um, you know tool inside of Facebook that actually drums up urgency. Yeah, you know, this is the only tool that actually Facebook releases that actually drums up its own urgency to actually make a purchase of your product. Yeah. So the first thing I'm sure some of you are wondering is you know what is a Facebook offer ad? Well, you know the evolution of Facebook offer ads has been you know over the last two years it's definitely changed a lot from a product perspective. Um, when Facebook offer ads came out, it was just a way that you could make, you could do a, a quick daily deal to your fan page, mm-hmm. you know, with a discount code. Yeah. Now it's, and, and that's all it was. You couldn't really run it as an ad at first. You could only run it just to your page and it would show up on select news feeds. Now you could actually run an offer ad where people can select, say, I want that offer and make a purchase. And you could actually run that as a conversion objective. I want sales using an offer ad. Um, the coolest part about the offer ad is about offers. What is an offer? An offer ends at a certain date. So if someone redeems an offer and says, I want that offer, and they redeem it, what does Facebook do if they haven't purchased? They actually remind people that they have an offer that's going to you know, that's gonna expire. And they also, in the notification, I'm fairly certain that they actually say what the offer is. It's not just like, hey, you have an unclaimed offer. It's like you have this offer, and so your brand is in the notification, which is great. Exactly. So you're getting free advertising from Facebook reminding people to make a purchase of your product when you use an offer ad. And it's easy to opt into an offer initially. If, if you are a user and you see an ad, it's like one click. You know, you say, Yep, here's I a want code. It. I want that offer. And then Facebook is – and. And when that offer is about to expire, Facebook will literally remind you that your offer is about to expire. Don't forget to redeem. Yeah. You get additional engagements with the user, and, which and is great. Face, Facebook creates urgency. Like They don't do that for any other ad objective type or any other ad type. They're actually creating urgency. It's that, the last 24 hours they do the countdown. Yeah, they actually have a countdown that they do on Facebook offer ads. and. I see. A lot, I don't see a lot of companies doing this, and I, I don't really understand why. We've leveraged offers, you know, pretty well across a multitude of clients we work with. But I would totally get on the Facebook offer ad, especially yeah. with uh, the holiday season coming up. Different types of ho- they work great for holidays. You know, obviously Fourth of July, Memorial Day, work amazing well. For Mother's them. Day, Father's Day are gonna be huge for this. Yeah, Mother's Day, Father's Day. I would totally jump on the Facebook offer ad. Yeah, and it goes. It you know. Thing about a tip we always tell people is like, hey, if there's not a lot of people using offer ads right now, under you know that inventory is probably going to be a little bit cheaper than the other stuff. You know, hop on stuff that isn't widely used. Yep, test it out, and you know, before you know it, you know, you're going to have success with something that not a lot of people are using. Also, people don't see a lot of offer ads in their news feed, so when they see something interesting, they're actually more likely to make an action on it. Definitely, definitely. I mean, I think you know, it's it's using a lot of the principles that. You know, you might use on your site for like CRO, you're trying to drive people down through your conversion, but you're actually doing them on Facebook. It's pretty great. And clearly, with Facebook investing time and resources into redoing offer ads, they really want to make this a core part of their platform. Totally. I think that's that's a given. Well, yeah. just a quick recap. Um, you could easily set up Facebook offer ads inside of, inside of Power Editor yeah. Ads Manager. Offer ads allow you to create an offer for your product or service. Um, they work on both mobile and desktop. And how it works is people redeem the offer and say that they they want the offer. Then if they haven't made a purchase, Facebook will remind them you know, within 24 hours out in the notifications tab to actually, you have something you need to redeem and make a purchase. And the reason why we're so good is because Facebook creates urgency for your product. Absolutely. So yeah, definitely check out these uh, the new version of Offer Ads. They're pretty great. Um, and we'll be back again soon with more great Facebook and e-commerce content. Yeah.